Yes, light reaction, it takes place in a granum. You know about the structure of granum. It consists of many thylakoid membranes which are placed one above the other. In those thylakoid membranes, we do find LHC. LHC means light harvesting complexes. Light harvesting complexes. These light harvesting complexes are of two types. One is photosystem first, another is photosystem second. In short form, PS first and PS second. And they are said to be first and second mainly based on that photosystem first was discovered first and photosystem second was discovered later on. That's all. No other thing. Why it is said to be first and why it is said to be second. That was discovered first and is discovered later on. And in each light harvesting complex, there are two things. One is reaction center. Another is antennae. You are aware of the photosynthetic pigments. Those photosynthetic pigments consist of chlorophyll A, chlorophyll B, xanthophylls and carotenoids. These four are photosynthetic pigments. In this light harvesting complex, the reaction center is none other than chlorophyll A that is there here. And that is said to be reaction center. Reaction center. And it is surrounded by chlorophyll B, xanthophylls, and carotenoids. Chlorophyll B, carotenoids, and xanthophylls, which are present around chlorophyll A. And these three are named as <coughs> antennae. These three are named as antennae. This total part is antennae. That antennae consists of <coughs> chlorophyll B, xanthophyll, and carotenoids. And reaction center liquefies chlorophyll A. The interesting thing about these four photosynthetic pigments is that chlorophyll A <coughs> is considered as a primary pigment. Why it is said to be primary pigment? This chlorophyll A is not only <coughs> capable to trap the radiant energy, even it converts that radiant energy into chemical energy. It can trap the radiant energy and also converts it into chemical energy. Whereas these three pigments Chlorophyll B, xanthophyll, and carotenoid, they are capable to trap radiant energy of sun, but they are not in position to convert it into chemical energy. Then what they do? They just trap the radiant energy of sun, and after trapping the radiant energy of sun, that is supplied to the primary pigment, that is reaction center, that is none other than chlorophyll A. That is also trapping and is also getting the light from this antennae and converts that radiant energy into chemical energy as well. That's why you know this chlorophyll A is considered as primary pigment and these remaining three which are there in antennae are named as accessory pigment accessory pigments because they are capable to trap radiant energy that's all they are incapable to convert radiant energy into uh, radiant energy into chemical energy but it is said to be primary pigment or essential pigment 
because this chlorophyll A can convert radiant energy of sun into chemical energy and also trap and this is a light harvesting center that includes reaction center having chlorophyll A and the antennae antennae which consists of these pigments even I have written here chlorophyll A is a bright green color and chlorophyll B is yellow green xanthophyll is yellow color carotenoid is yellow to orange yellow and one more interesting thing and we about that they may raise the question in a photosystem first the reaction center chlorophyll A which is named as chlorophyll A700 and this is named as P100 P700 also chlorophyll A700 is also written as P700 and photosystem second is having reaction center no doubt chlorophyll A only but is 680 hence it is also named as P680 what is this chlorophyll A700 and chlorophyll A680 the chlorophyll A which is there in photosystem first is capable to trap radiant energy of 700 wavelength hence the name chlorophyll A700 that's all in a similar way chlorophyll A present in photosystem second is capable to trap radiant energy of sun of wavelength 680 nanometer hence the name chlorophyll A680 that is based on which wavelength light they trap based on that it is chlorophyll A700 in photosystem first and chlorophyll A680 in photosystem second they may ask a neat question in the photosystem first which of the following chlorophyll is present chlorophyll A700 chlorophyll A680 like this they would give where chlorophyll A700 and that is mainly because it is capable to trap radiant energy of sun of wavelength 700 nanometer and in photosystem second the reaction center is having chlorophyll A680 that's all and these things we must know if we know these things we are in uh, position and uh, during uh, light reaction the total light is necessary for photosynthesis or preferentially the light reaction depends upon any colored light <coughs> experiments prove that the rate of photosynthesis is very high in presence of blue and red lights if only blue and red lights are given to the plant the rate of photosynthesis is very maximum this we are going to represent by the graph and based on that graph you know they will give the statements and these questions are must as far as your NEET exam is concerned let me discuss about the graph already we know a reaction center having chlorophyll A it's a primary pigment capable to trap radiant energy of sun and is also converting radiant energy into chemical energy and chlorophyll B xanthophyll and carotenoids are accessory pigments they are capable to trap radiant energy of sun 
even sometimes in need they can give the graph you should be perfect with the graph in which you know in this first graph the absorption rate of photosynthetic pigments is given and uh, see here when we plot in the graph per wavelength of light along the x axis and absorption rate along y axis as per chlorophyll a is concerned it is at starting the absorption uh, if the chlorophyll uh, light energy wavelength is less the absorption is less but it increases and gradually decreases but further it increases at 700 wavelength as well this black line shows at starting the rate is rate of absorption of low wavelength light is more and intermediate wavelength light is less but at the end high wavelength light is absorbed much that we can see here and you know about seven colors in the sunlight those are in the order v i b g y o r this graph indicates where the blue light wavelength is there here starting from this v 400 and r 700 and actually the absorption rate is very maximum at where the B is there, blue light and also R, red is there and this is the graph you should remember and they will give the graph with these wavelengths and absorption of light they will give just chlorophyll one graph, this black line is given and the question is asked the graph which we have drawn here indicate the absorption rate by chlorophyll A or chlorophyll B like this and this is chlorophyll A line as well and second chlorophyll B a accessory pigment its absorption rate is very less but at blue light is very abundant remember is more than chlorophyll A and gradually it decreases down but at 700 wavelength it is lesser than chlorophyll A this graph can indicate the absorption rate of chlorophyll B it is more at low wavelength light and is greater than chlorophyll A but as far as both of them are very very low in intermediate wavelengths but at high wavelength the absorption rate by chlorophyll B is lesser than chlorophyll A as well that indicates and this is the graph here I have drawn two lines one is already explained here that is chlorophyll A at uh, uh, blue light the absorption rate by chlorophyll A is more and in intermediate light is less and at red light where 700 wavelength is there it is increased like this and another line I have drawn here that blue line that indicates rate of photosynthesis see how that rate of photosynthesis is correlated with absorption rate by chlorophyll A wherever it is more absorption the high rate of photosynthesis where the absorption rate is less at the intermediate wavelength the rate of photosynthesis is decreased once again at red light the absorption of that red light by chlorophyll is increased even the rate of photosynthesis is also increased they would give the graph in which they just give the line among these two lines which line indicate the rate of photosynthesis 
and which lie in indicate the absorption rate by chlorophyll A. Instead of that, you know, instead of writing chlorophyll A, rate of photosynthesis, they give this is A, this is B. And uh, decoding you have to do, where the answers will be there. A is absorption rate of chlorophyll A, B is rate of photosynthesis. These two are given vice versa. That's why you, know, you have to perfect in these two graphs. You should remember they would give the graph instead of giving uh, those decoded words, they will give the code. This is A and this is B. A is chlorophyll A absorption and chlorophyll B is chlorophyll B absorption like this. And here this is the line which is indicating the rate of photosynthesis. And here how the absorption of chlorophyll absorption of light by chlorophyll A how it is correlated with the rate of photosynthesis. That is explained by this graph as well. And remember there is a high rate of photosynthesis is there only when blue and red lights are given. And the absorption rate is indicated more wherever blue light wavelength and red light wavelength are there. And the rate of photosynthesis is shown very high where blue light and red light are present. It is about the graph.